What's going on guys? Welcome back to Mr. Reebok Monday! And yes, you probably just noticed there at the start, um, yeah, we're not actually in the official mystery box today. We're just using the lid because, well, <laughs> uh, there's only two items that are really brand new in today's episode that I'm going to open. Uh, because if you have a look up here, you may also notice the display shelf has been emptied out. Yes, we are going to refill the box, uh, refill the shelf from the box of premiums. Yes, this is an entire box of just Hot Wheels premiums. So we will go through there and add some into the shelf. Uh, but first, because I was digging through the collection and I found this and I hadn't opened it yet. Uh, this is the Forza Motorsport 7 Volkswagen Classic Bug in that beautiful sky blue color. And those really nice chrome wheels. Yeah, really cool looking card art there, doing the wheelie. It's got all of the details there, looking fantastic. Uh, this is just from the entertainment series, not actually from any Forza set. Uh, plus we also have the Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. And this is the 59 Cadillac Funny Car. I've been waiting for a long time to open this one here up. I reckon this is such a cool, cool looking casting. I was very, very excited when I found this. Uh, this is the rest of the set there. Um, I do believe I have an entire set, uh, but I did buy the second funny card because, well, it, I just couldn't help it. So, uh, yeah, uh, let's do this one first. Let's do this one first. There you go. Get that out. Wow, this is really large. <laughs> this is a really large casting. And this, oh, yes, it is an opening featured dragster. That is so, so cool. Wow, very nice shiny black paint. You get some little pumpkins on there. And some, uh, looks like to be some thorn bushes from a rose bush possibly. Orange windows. Uh, on the front there we have the nice headlights painted up plus it indicates that really cool looking chrome grille makes it look absolutely fantastic. On the bonnet there we have the Jack Skellington in the spider's web. And on the top there we have Jack Skellington and I can't remember what her name was. I, uh, oh, it's just escaped me now. But it's pretty cool, it's kind of like a little photo there of the two of them. And around the back here we have a parachute, plus we have some brake lights painted up, plus this little extra parts there in silver. Wow, that is really cool. It even has metal wheelie bars. Oh, this is so awesome. A bright orange window. And that same tempo on this side here. All right, guys, let's open it up. Wow, that is so cool. Look at that nice big chrome engine. Side pipes, really nice choice of wheels there as well with the real rider tires. Uh, the big ones on the back there, little ones on the front. Single seat driving position. Uh, looks to be a fuel cell, fuel tank in the front there. That is so awesome. Yeah, I've been waiting for a while to open this one here up. And I wasn't 100% sure if this was actually an opening funny car, but I am so happy that it is. Also has some extra silver paint on the side there on the fins. Wow, that is awesome. All right, we're gonna put this guy just there, just there for the time being, because that's where I'm reaching. <laughs> Don't forget, this has also got lights in the back, so. There we go, that's what it will look like with the lights on. Uh, we don't need the lights for the time being. Uh, next up, we're gonna open up the Volkswagen Classic Bug because this is also another awesome car. Waiting for a long time to open this one here up, mainly because I completely forgot that I had it. Wow, this is really, really nice color. Very nice light blue paint job. Nicely painted up headlights. It's got a little badge on the front there. It's got the little handle in silver. Has the uh, metal bumper bar section there. Four spoke chrome wheels, nice deep dishes on there. You have some silver paint along the side there and along the door handle too. Plus we have the Forza and the Forza logo on that white stripe. Has the uh, metal silver 
sidestep there. Uh, nice big wide flares on this one here too. And this one has Forza on the license plate, rear brake lights. Uh, central exhaust pipe just in the center there, you can see that. And the bumper parts again. Uh, plus this extra piece for the rear hatch. Kind of looks like it's been popped open because it's probably got an extra large engine in there maybe. And it also has a cr cream or white interior. Is that cream? Uh, that's a white interior. Yeah, not too bad. Same livery on both sides. All in all, a very, very nice looking car. Let's sit that one up the top there. All right. Now we can get into the box. As you can see, this is kind of like everything that's just been thrown in there. We've got an Evo, we've got a Land Cruiser, we've got a Volvo. Uh, but what I want to do, um, actually, <laughs> we will put this one here up. This is the this is the Ecto-1 Ghostbusters vehicle. Yes. Also another Cadillac. There we go, 59 Cadillac. Has the white wall wheels with the chrome wheels. The Ghostbusters logo has the uh, red stripe on the side there and has all of that really cool sci-fi equipment on the top there. Painted headlights, Ecto-1 on the license plate. Yeah, very, very nicely done casting this one. Uh, so much stuff on the top there. Little lights and everything. Uh, you've got the cables running down there. And on the back there, painted up details with the Ghostbusters logo also. Uh, yes, this one here is 100% going to go in here. I'll put it... I'll put it just there. I'm not entirely sure how many cars we're going to fit in here, but I'll try and go through as quickly as possible. Um, I'm just going to go and try and get to the bottom. Oh, there's the other Ghostbusters car from the second remake. This is actually the hearse version rather than the ambulance. Uh, and that one's not going up. Uh, oh, actually, this one can go up. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Volkswagen drag bus, red and white, lovely details. Very, very cool. Blacked out wheels. Very nice. Let's get salty. And as you guys know, with the Volkswagen drag bus, it is also an openable drag vehicle. You can see the seating position up the front there, giant huge engine and this huge exhaust out the back there as well. So yeah, this one's going in. I'll pop that one down the bottom there for the time being. Uh, there's another Volkswagen. I uh, don't think I'll put this one here in, but that's a still a very, very cool looking vehicle. What is that one? This little Toyota Starlet. All right, there we go. Mystery machine. We'll put this one here in for the fun of it. There we go. Orange four-spoke wheels. Well, orange and yellow four-spoke wheels. Nice uh, light blue and green color combination. All the details make it look fantastic. I love this casting. And there we go, have Scooby on the side there, poking his head out of the side of the mystery machine. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, this one's actually pretty cool, to be honest. This one here is the Dodge A100, and this is the Green Lantern version. Very, very cool looking casting. Nice details, bright green window. We have different tempo on this side here. So this is really, really cool. Rear details nicely painted up. There's a Green Lantern logo on the roof there. So yeah, we'll chuck this one up. I don't really have any particular order of what I want to put up here. It's kind of just like a chilled out episode today. Uh, trying to see what we can find. Oh yeah, we'll put this one up. Have the cool combi with the moon eyes livery. Super awesome. Love the cool combi. Nicely painted up details. Got the moon dish wheels, the moon eyes with the flames as well. Surfboards in the back with the open door. Go with moon on the back of it. Great looking casting.
pop that one down there. What do we got? Ooh, the Punisher van. Yeah, we're going to put that one up. Uh, no, no, just put any of those up. Yes, this one's cool. From the uh, Punisher comic. Has that big push bar on the front there with the spikes. Painted up details on the front there. This one has the moving turret on the roof. Awesome. Uh, it also has the, the movable turret on the back there. And uh, does this slide out? No, this doesn't slide out, but inside you can see like a command center inside there. So that's really, really awesome. And the Punisher on this side here. There's a camera on the top there, which also moves. Such an awesome looking casting. <laughs> so yeah, the Punisher van. We'll put this back inside there for the time being. Oh, there we go. That's one that's definitely going up there. Yes, this is the Volkswagen drag truck with the Grateful Dead livery on it. Yes. One of my best sets ever. I was very, very happy to be able to open up a set on this channel for you guys uh, because the set itself has gone up quite a bit now. Um, yeah, very, very nicely done. In the back there, you can see the twin engines and the giant exhaust pipe, big tubbed wheels in the back there. It's just too cool. Too, too cool. Yes. Yeah, the uh, set's gone up. Uh, when I bought the set, I paid $50 for the set. I uh, bought two sets for $50 each, and then they uh, have gone up uh, almost double that price now. Ooh, that's one we can put up, yes. Uh, these ones here, just go through these. No, nothing I really, really want. This one, on the other hand, is 100% going up. The Smokey and the Bandit, Trans Am, the gold wheels, all those beautiful details, gold and black color combination. Uh, this is actually from a Fast and Furious series, uh, but it is a perfect, perfect example of this casting, of this car itself. Really, really nice, and it does not like to focus on the black shininess. <laughs> uh, so yeah, really, really awesome quite a few black cars going into this. I'll try not to put too many black cars in there uh, because it's kind of hard to see with the black background as well. <laughs> There's another cool one, the Spy vs Spy Dodge A100. I won't put that up because it's a black vehicle. We will put this one here up on the other hand. Uh, another Dodge A100 Pinocchio. Uh, just some regular cars there, I'm not too worried about. I like this one though, this one's really cool. There you go, service vehicle. Nice metallic green paint job. Got the stripe over the top there in cream. And the same livery on that side. Part of the 50th Faves series, part of the 50th Favourites series. <laughs> uh, there's a C3PO Volkswagen, which is pretty awesome. It's not really a premium, but it goes in there anyway. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? I'm trying to be fast, guys. I can't. You know what? I'm going to do this. <laughs> Alright. Just uh. <laughs> There we go. That might make it a little bit easier. And then just pan the camera down a little bit. Look at this. All of these premiums. Ooh, this one's going up. Yes. Another crazy casting. That's really, really awesome. From the Peanut series. This is the custom Chevy Greenbrier Sports Wagon. Crazy looking vehicle. Absolutely love this with the surfboards on the top there as well. Just awesome. 
have a giant engines in the back there. Just, I don't know what's going on there, but that's just too awesome to not have up here. Uh, we'll put that down there. Uh, we have a Volkswagen T1 with the Magnus Walker Outlaw livery. Uh, no, I don't feel like that. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to... This one here we can put up. Uh, I'm not too sure what set this one was from, but it's really nice in gold. Nice details. 65 Nova. This could have been a Boulevard series, but I do not remember at all. But that's really nice. And there's the back details there as well. Uh, I'm just going to stand up and do this because there's too many cars. I'm just going to grab a whole bunch. <coughs> I'm just going to grab a whole bunch of these and I'm just going to start putting them up. Ooh, this one's a good one. Try and be as fast as possible. The uh, Railwell Porsche. It's hard time having, having a hard time focusing on black. This is the super wide body version. Really nice from the Silhouette series. Another really, really awesome looking car. <laughs> Crazy looking car once again. Uh, what else have we got? I'm trying to not put all, all the black cars. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Here we have a Spider-Man vehicle. Very nice. This is from the actual Japanese version of the Spider-Man. Very science fiction looking. And uh, there's the back there. Yeah, just really, really awesome looking casting. And the rear there as well. Look at the giant wings on the top of that. It's going to fly away. Oh, there we go. We'll put this one up. This one here is the match to the cool combi. This is the T1. Same livery style. Same wheels. Exactly the same style of vehicle. Uh, this one here has the closed rear door. Same livery on that side. So yes, we're going to put this one here up. There we go. That's pretty cool. <laughs> ah, there we go. There's another Volkswagen drag bus. Have to put this one here up with the other one. This one's from the 50th Faves series. This is the Zamac with that really cool fade flame job on the top there, on the side. Beautiful, beautiful colours. And the front there, 50th anniversary on the top. And you can see that colour fade going into the Zamac. Absolutely stunning, stunning casting. Absolutely one of my favourite of the castings of the uh, Volkswagen drag bus that there is. Yeah, very, very nice. I'm going to have a few of these down here by the looks of it. <laughs> Let's see what else we can find. Uh, I'm trying to figure out which ones that I want to put up, to be honest. Don't worry, I'm going to cut out all of the uh, rummaging around that I'm doing, so it's not going to feel like as long as for you guys as what it does for me. Uh, how about this one? This one's another strange looking casting. It's not a large casting, so it'll go down the bottom quite well. This is a GMC motorhome with Doctor Strange on it. Six wheels. Uh, there's GMC motorhome. There's Doctor Strange on that side also. Just a really, really cool looking casting. It has got an interior inside. It's very hard to see, but there is actually like a motorhome style interior in there. But yeah, really cool looking casting. Uh, next up, we'll just go for... Alright, what about this one? This one here is also from the Grateful Dead series. 
Uh, this one here is the the Dream the Dream Van. Uh, where is it? Dream Van XGW. I'm not entirely sure if this is a fantasy casting or not, but it's really cool. I love this style of vehicle. It's actually like a real nod to the old school designs and like those 60s designs as well. So it suits this car really well. Got the red lines on the tires. A very, very 70s style vehicle indeed. I'm just going to grab one, any one, this one. This one here we're going to put up. <laughs> Another Spider-Man vehicle. This one here is based on the Myers Manx. Has the Spider-Man on the wheels there. Has that web effect on the paint. Very, very cool looking casting as well. Spidey on the license plate. Yeah, pretty, pretty cool. Now put up a Deco Delivery. This is also from the Peanuts series. Nice gold and red color combination. Nice wheels with the gold rim on the edge. Really cool looking casting once again. Nice details and all of that. Different livery on that side. Uh, yeah, it's another black car, but we'll put it up anyway because it's really cool. There we go. Matte black Dodge Charger. Bronze five spoke wheels. Really nicely done. It's got the extra silver around the window. Chrome grill and bumper. It's got the uh, fuel point there by the looks of it. RT on the back there. And some red lights and details on the back. A very, very cool looking casting. And it also has the engine in the back there too. <laughs> Next we're going to put up this guy. It's from the Back to the Future movie. Uh, this is the Poopmobile. Uh, what was this one? Ford Super Deluxe. There you go. Read that. Really, really nice matte black license plates there. All the front details. Has all the manure in the top of it because if you've seen the Back to the Future movie, uh, Biff is driving around. I think it was, I think it was Biff anyway. Um, and he crashes into the manure van and it pours all over him. Uh, but the best part is it has a removable section so you get this beautiful, beautiful red interior. Fantastic looking details on this. I really, really like this casting. Uh, to be honest, I wish I bought a couple more of them uh, just to be able to have a few more of them. But yeah, we're going to put this one up. And we're going to put this back into a bag so we don't lose it. And it's going to keep that on display as, that, as it is like that. Next up, we're going to do the Gas Monkey Garage Corvette. This one here has orange wheels now because I did a wheel swap uh, for the Ghost Charger, uh, the Ghost Rider Dodge Charger, uh, which should also be somewhere, maybe in this pile. I don't know. I've got a, <laughs> I've got a few piles of premium cars around, so it could be in another box uh, somewhere around the house. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but that's why this one has the orange wheels, is because that is off the Ghost Rider Charger. I think it looks pretty cool on this one. Nice gold paint job, it's got the engine there, in chrome, side exhaust, extra chrome details. Really, really awesome, and it also has Gas Monkey on the back there. And the Midas Monkey, which is what this vehicle was called on the show. Very nice. Next one we're going to do is the Alfred E. Newman Mad Magazine car. Uh, this one here is a, oh, it doesn't actually say, but I'm pretty sure that this is a Chevy Nova wagon. There's a, oh, the uh, metal chrome grill on the front there. Nice yellow and white two-tone combination. Have the Mad on the roof from the Mad Magazine and 
There's Alfred E. Newman there saying, what? Me worry? Never. Uh, yeah, nice little bit of extra details there. Nice choice of wheel. Mad on the back there. Some brake lights and all of that. Same livery on this side. Very, very cool. Now there's a few of them from that set. This one here is another one, which also has some comics on the side from the actual Mad Comics. There we go. Uh, we're not going to put those up, up. And there was also two. There was also two of the Spy vs Spy van somewhere as well. Not entirely sure. No, there we go. There's one. There is the black Dodge A100, and there's also a white version. Uh, which will be in the pile here somewhere, I assume. <laughs> uh, I think we'll open this one here up next. This one here's a, uh, a Camaro, but this is also an opening feature. Camaro. Yes, there we go. This I think this one's from a Boulevard series, possibly. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, one of the very first Boulevard sets that came out. Beautiful gold paint job. Nice black stripe across the bonnet. Has side exit exhaust as well. And a black grille. And there you go, it has the engine inside there. Very nice. Oh, actually, let's open this one. I just saw this one here. Also from the uh, Boulevard series, this is the Koenigsegg Azera. I think it's only fitting that we have a supercar or two in this lineup of vehicles. Nice little red accents on there. Nice wheel choice as well. Blacked out wheels. And there we go, it has the uh, badging on the side there. Big wang on the back, it also has the ghost. You see the ghost just there. And the rear lighting details looking fantastic also. I think to match the uh, Volkswagen that we have up there, we'll put in the shop trucks version of the Volkswagen service vehicle. This one here kind of has the reverse color combination where it has the metallic green there and this kind of creamy sand color on the side there. Let me just grab this one. You can see that they are the reverse colors, the reverse color combination with the same style of tempo, both service vehicles, which is really, really cool. This one has a skateboard in the back there. Nice details, exposed intercooler service stuff on the side there. It also has Volkswagen embossed in the back, twin exhaust and some light details. Move these ones down to this end here. And then we can fit something else in the other spot. Actually, yeah, we'll just do this one. I was just rummaging through the pile of vehicles there. And, and it does come to my attention that this is only about half, or probably less than half of my premium cars that I've got because there's a lot of there's a lot of cars that aren't in this pile that I was looking for to put up on the back there, but they must be somewhere else. So I'll have to dig those out for another time. Now this one here's also from a, uh, a Boulevard series. I'm not entirely sure who owns the car, but he was on that Hoonigan YouTube channel. And he lost a race against uh, Finnegan from Roadkill. So this one's really cool. There's also two versions of this casting. Uh, there's the one with the dark black chrome, which you can see here. See how that's a really dark chrome. And there's also a version with a very bright silver chrome. So this one here is the rarer of the two uh, collectible cars. But the other one should be in this pile here too. If I come across it in this pile, I'll pull it out to show you uh, what it looks like. Uh, 
Oh, here we go. Let's do a Led Zeppelin vehicle. There we go. With the uh, Brown Bomber album. Led Zeppelin number two on the side there. Nice copper color on the top. Really love that color. Nice details. And that smoke effect looks really, really awesome as well. Old school wheels looking nice in chrome. Nice details on the front there. And the same livery on this side here. There we go, the brown bomber on the back there. Absolutely awesome. And we can fit one more car in. So what are we gonna choose? What is the last car that we're gonna put up on the display for today? Actually, let's put up another Camaro. <laughs> uh, I'm not entirely sure what this one was from either. This one here could very well have been from another Boulevard series because there's, well, there's more Boulevard sets than anything else that's ever been released by Hot Wheels. So uh, this is very possible from the Boulevard series. This one here is in like a more of a, a Bumblebee yellow and black color combination. Pretty much the same looking car. Uh, also has the opening bonnet there. So that is absolutely awesome. There we go, and a bit more movement, we can actually fit one more car. So let's just grab one more car. <gasps> oh yes. <laughs> this one here for sure. This one's from the 50th favorite series. This is the 57 Chevy. And uh, this one's also a nice kind of like a copper color. It has the white and pink pinstriping on the top of the bonnet and the roof there. And you can see it a little bit more on the side there, a little bit of more of that hot pink. Beautiful details on this one here. Nice interior color. Details on the front look fantastic. Those pinstripes look so awesome though. I love that. And the details on the back there. All right, and there we go. All right, that looks like we can, can't fit any more vehicles in there. Maybe we can possibly fit one more little car. Let's see if we can find a little car. I know, I've, oh, <laughs> yes, there we go. We should be able to fit this one here from the air-cooled series from a few years ago. This is a little Fiat 500, the race car, uh, still gold and chrome wheels, all those details, racing sponsor details on there. Uh, front there, not too much in the way of headlight details, but this was from a part of time before Hot Wheels was really, really focusing on that, which they do nowadays. There's the engine there, air cooled out the back with a little door open. Look at that. <laughs> oh, wow. Yes, that looks absolutely awesome. Let's do a zoom in. And we'll see the cars. Maybe we can zoom in a little bit more. I hope that light looks okay for you guys. From my point of view here, they look absolutely fantastic. Cool little set of cars. I love the display. There we go, move this around so I can get a good viewing of all of these vehicles. I'm going to rearrange all of these vehicles after the episode and put them into a little bit more of a, a nicer position. And there's the bottom row there. Some really, really cool castings. That's it. All right, guys, that's going to bring us to the end of this episode. I really hope you enjoyed this kind of random slow paced episode today um, didn't really get a chance to do much of the shopping for anything new so I kind of had to find something to do and well you guys enjoyed this little stand display setting up that I did last time with the team transport so I thought why not just do another little one uh, yeah let me know what you think did you enjoy today's episode uh, what do you reckon of the cars I think they look absolutely awesome 
uh, yeah, pick yourself up one of these cabinets here. They're $39 from Kmart here in Australia. Absolutely bargain, love it. Uh, and yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna say thank you very much for joining me. I uh, hope you enjoyed the randomness of today's episode. And until next week, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you all then. Bye, guys. <laughs>